put them in a Spanish period musical. What do you get? Raul Julia and Sheena Easton and the Broadway revival of Man of La Mancha. Julia and Sheena Easton and Joyce, you look at each other, what, who, was that me? No, I was going to say, how come they don't ask us which clips they can use? No. You didn't like yourself in that one? Oh, it was okay. That was okay? It's not my so, best moment, That's a... but it was all right, it was all right. It didn't embarrass my mother, so it was okay. Yeah. Uh, were you happy with yours? Oh, it's very hard to see yourself <laughs> in, in a video at like that. At this time Yes, it's very hard. What but... made you decide to do this show? Um, I wanted to, to learn, you know, I, I got to the point in my career where I was at a plateau. I had been doing what I've been doing since I was 17 and, and basically knew it. And um, I thought it was time to push myself instead of just sitting back, you know, be 30 and kind of mm -hmm. comfortable. And um, everyone said, if you want to learn acting, go to the theater, young woman. That's the place that's going to be tough, real hard training and the best place to learn. So. I auditioned and got the job. Are you learning? I am learning, yes. I re it's very true. It's the best place. Harder, than, harder or easier than you thought it would be? Much harder. Much harder. What's the hardest part? Hardest part is maintaining the level of concentration and the concentrated energy that it takes to get through eight shows in a week, because that's two shows, you know, twice a week. Mm -hmm. That is... It just drains your body, your soul, everything. But you're on stage with a guy like Raul Julia, who's done this for mm -hmm. so long and is so good, and mm. isn't it easy? That is it easy by now, or is it still hard? <laughs> is it as hard as Sheena says it is? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, keeping, keeping what, like she says, that level of concentration and the energy, and to keep yourself in good health, the voice. Yeah. Mm. The throw, you know, everything, uh, it's, it takes a lot of uh, stamina. Too. And you have no life. Uh. <laughs> and you, don't, you're, you don't, seriously, I don't mean that in, in a real bad way, but you're, so much of your life is spent at the theater doing mm -hmm. the show, and then because it sounds so corny, your instrument has to be protected, you can't then go out to a party or, you know, talk on the phone for four hours. You have to then so rest So like being your voice. a monk. Almost. Well, not quite. But. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Why did you decide to do it? I always wanted to do it ever since I saw it about 20 years ago at the Antitheater uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when it opened with Richard Kiley, except that I didn't see it with him. He was out that day, and I saw it with the understudy, but I still liked it very much. It was, and it, you know, very, uh, it just inspired me, and I used to dream about doing it, and yeah. finally it came true. I grew up with Don Quixote because it's a uh, Cervantes is to Spanish speaking people like uh, Shakespeare is to English speaking people so it was great to be able to interpret him uh, you know to try to become him as much as you can. Let me ask you about this you've been on the road with this thing and this is what's universally true as I've looked through the clips critics hated it you are breaking box office mm -hmm. records yeah. what do you think that means? Well that was the same when the show came out originally uh, 25 years ago it got horrible reviews it won five Tonys and ran for three years on Broadway <laughs> it's not a show um, that critics intellectually respond to but it's a show that audiences emotionally respond to and that's why the public flock to it, they buy tickets because they are moved by it because they're yeah. led by their heart rather than by analyzing it did it worry you at all to go on stage and perform songs that were so well known? Mm, no, not, no, I always liked the songs very much. I used to sing them all the time to my relatives, uh, you know, and uh, I enjoyed the songs. So it, I, I was looking forward to doing them, really. Uh, we're going to sing in the park again? Uh, sing where? 
Are we going to see you in the park? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going back to Central Park to act there, too. Uh -huh. Definitely. <laughs> yes, I love the park, the Delacour Theater. Thanks for uh, coming out for us this morning. Thank you. We'll let you go back and rest so you can protect the internet. <laughs> we'll be back. Thanks.